Hello. Today, me and the uh, madman over here are going to show you how to make uh, edible, or at least safe to eat if it, you do happen to get it near or in your mouth, uh, fake blood for, uh, say, Halloween or movies, special effects. Uh, ingredients for um, for this version. Can I put some? Yes, you can put some in here, but you gotta wait. Ingredients for this one are actually pretty simple and cheap. First, you get this poison, also known as corn syrup. You get the nice golden one. Um, I get this, this was about $2 uh, for 32 fluid ounces. So, two pounds. Ah, uh, that's fluid ounces. Never mind, uh, weighs a little more than two pounds. But, uh, you know, it is safer to eat it's, it still is corn syrup, so no matter what you do, corn syrup is still a poison. But it's at least if you, it won't kill you in, right away. Anyways, uh, next ingredient, uh, get yourself some water. And red food coloring. Now, there's a lot of different kind of food colorings out there. I mean, and you, you can pick and choose whatever you want. But I go to uh, Walmart and get... Uh, uh, it's color is red red icing color and surprisingly uh, ingredients in it uh, start out as corn syrup sugar glycerin water and then it's got the red dyes and food start corn starch so on and so forth uh, but the reason I like it and to be honest with you if you went and bought a one ounce is this one ounce that weight. One ounce. It. Yes, it is one ounce. Uh, if you weren't were now to your Halloween superstore and were to buy one ounce of fake blood, it would come in a container, pretty much just like this. Actually, almost identical. This a little different label labeling on it. But look at that. See that? This it, in, you. Actu in actuality, it's you could use this you. as a very thick, starting to congeal blood. That's because the uh, Halloween stores use red icing food coloring, slap a different label on it, and quadruple the price. This was about $1.75 for one ounce. Yucky. And, you know, Go, go, cut, 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 cut. Ew. And there you go. I'm bleeding. That's simple. See? Look at that, Gino. Well, you have to milk it. You don't wipe it. Don't have to don't wipe it. Coloring's pretty darn good and everything, too. Nice and thick. So we'll wipe that off before my other son's school thinks I tried cutting my wrist today. Yeah. So, let's just clean... Our chopstick off. I love chopsticks, so versatile. It's getting to the point, it's pretty sad, I'm getting to the point where I actually want chopsticks at Italian restaurants, because it's easier. Don't touch that, you know, you're going to get stained color on you. So, um, got my cheat sheets here. Um, oh, no, no, corn syrup, no, 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 red, blue, oh, no, and green food coloring. No, uh, no, no, no. Now, you can also use, I say quiet, you can also use uh, flour, cornstarch, chocolate syrup, or maple syrup as kind of a, a change the tint a little bit. But anyways, let's pour in some corn syrup. A little different. Poison. This is the stuff that makes your soda sweet. Sad. There we go. And uh, looks like I, I had just enough little bit of uh, food coloring on my chopstick. Red. It's already got a little bit of a red tinge to it. Now we're gonna mix. Yeah. 
Rocky. Now, don't start off too dark with the food coloring and the corn syrup. You can always add more later, but if you run out of ingredients to make it, you know, to thin it out, Then we gotta add some water to thin it, give it a little more of a consist consistency of real blood. I just love that look at it. That's too bad this, these little tubes weren't. Well, technically they're not expensive, but uh, if you're if you gotta do a lot of blood, they can get expensive. Mix that up real nice and good there. Look at that. Let's splatter a little bit. Yep, some good blood splatter, huh? Is that owie? So owie. Are those owies? Those are yucky, yucky, yucky. Yucky, yucky, yucky. Smells sweet enough to rot my teeth out just by looking at it. Ah, I can smell. Smell. Poison. Poison. Say po po poison. Oh, poison. Yeah. yeah. All right. Now, if all you wanted was uh, the food coloring and corn syrup, um, it makes a nice thick blood. And uh, that'd be great for, you know, you, you put a little driplets, a little bit of splatter around something. Or uh, say you, you got uh, a knife prop. Here, you want to mix? Okay, okay. St stir. Good job. So, uh, and uh, be careful, this will stain clothing. And that's why I'm letting a four-year-old mix it with a white shirt, a uh, gray shirt on. Okay, that's it. That's it. Good job. Don't want to get water. But um, now, if blood isn't this water. thick. A water. Blood isn't thick Ew. and sticky quite like this. Uh, real blood is actually a little more runny. <sighs> Can I help you, sir? Okay. All right. So we add. No, Gino, you're not pouring. Let's see what have, what I have down here. Uh, Save a lot of blood. Always iron To be honest with you, real blood is actually more of the consistency of slightly thick water. So you just add a little bit. Like I say, you don't have to add a lot at a time. Can I help? Not yet. I do it. Well, you're going to spill it. You always spill. It's going to spill me. I know I might do it. All right. Stir. One, two. I'll... That's enough. That's enough. Okay, now I'll fin Daddy will finish stirring. Daddy, time to turn. Remember when we did this and we put it behind the forklift at work? That's it. They thought yucky. someone got ran over. Wasn't that funny? Yucky. Yucky. Look at Now it is getting thicker, I mean thinner. But still not, still a little bit too thick. Now, to get that more congealed, you know, blood's been sit, it's been sitting for a while. Body's, you know, cold. Uh, everything's coagulating. The rigor mortis is setting in. Um, then you'd want it as the nice straight corn syrup, thick, thick blood. That's more of the darker and, and make it slightly darker. 
trick is also trying to get this nice and mixed. There you go. Um, I actually got about the same amount of corn syrup in here. You now if this cup was filled all the way to the top, that's 12 ounces. That's a can of soda. But I have the, about the amount of corn syrup in this cup right now that's in your can of soda. Scary, huh? Disgusting what's in soda pop nowadays. Just a little bit at a time. There we go. I think that did it right there. Let's mix her up nice and good. If I had a white car, I'd splatter this all over the hood of the white car. That would be entertainment. Take it, watching everybody go bug eyed as you drive around. Oops. Splattery. There we go. That's about the right consistency. Now we need to add. Okay, we need some blood. Green. Now our arterial blood. Should be able to see my veins pretty good right there. Arterial blood takes on more of a, a, you know, dark maroon. Uh, now in the cup, it looks it's going to look quite a bit darker than it really is. Where's my flashlight? Can I push help? Can I push help? That Can sentence I is just wow. Help. Can you help me? Can yes, help? I will help you. Can I help me? Can you help me? Can you help me? I suppose I can. I help you. No, I will help you. Thank you. There you go. Thank you. Too bright. Uh, actually, I guess you can kind of see, even though I've got, there. Uh, now, what we're going to do, that darker maroon, if you want to add, oh, thankfully they put the easy off tabs, which never work right. If, uh, we add a little bit of blue. See, nice and blue. And just a tiny, tiny bit. And if you want these little jars to pour easily, a little, or easier. Jane, can you go get Daddy another chopstick? No, I don't want that. You can put these in the microwave for all of... Where's the sticks? See, like I said, it didn't take much at all. It's in the, by the forks. Forks? Get the chopstick. See, all it took was one drop. One little, little drop. And look, look how much darker we got. And it might not look it on camera, but it really is. No, that's a, no, I don't want a fork. I want a chopstick. Can you call yourself half Asian? No, I don't want fork. No, put away. Go put away. This one, this one, just this one. And you can also add drop of green. Where's egg sticks? What? And where's the egg sticks? Never mind, Jean. Where's the egg sticks? Jean. At least you're not looking for ice poop. 
Don't even get me. Yeah, don't even get me started on that one. Note to self, wear latex gloves next time I do this. Done. Stop. Oh, yes, I know I tried doing this video without a kid, either kid around, but uh, just didn't work out. Tough. Green just doesn't want to flow. I guess my knife's already a little dirty. There we go. A drop of green. Clean off the knife. Start mixing her up. And there you go. That little green bugger just doesn't want to mix in. There, that's even better yet. Let's do a... There, see? That's how blood is supposed to run. Nice liquidy and drip. Now, this isn't going to stick to your skin too well. But whatever clothing you're going to splatter it on or, you know, what's around the general vicinity, you know, like the ground. See? Can I popcorn? Popcorn? Yeah. Yep, just like going to the movies. And another thing is, it smears like real blood. Oh, come on, you guys, admit it. You've smeared and played with your blood book before. Who hasn't? And there you go. Oh, and another thing I found is, as it dries, uh, kind of leaves, not a powdery feel, but it does kind of leave behind a little bit of a, that look of, of dried blood, splattering it on the wall, so on and so forth. Uh, one thing I am tempted to do is go to a public restroom and just, you know, splatter some on the inside the toilet, on the toilet seat, but I'm too polite for that. So, this one, this version right here, is best for splattering it on the ground around whatever object that you be murdering. So say you have a dead dead body laying in the road. Uh, this is what you splatter and spray around it. And actually the chopstick holds just enough to give a, a splattery look. And then if you pour it, it will also... I'm not going to make a big freaking mess. Especially right above white carpet underneath the table. Brilliant. I guess I was just a genius when I thought of, about doing this in my dining room. Um, but uh, yeah, splattering. Now, uh, once again, now if you want to do your open wounds, that's when you take the straight corn syrup and just mix the corn syrup directly with your red food coloring.
Wow, that was random. Uh, I hope you guys didn't hear what he said, but you probably did anyways. Uh, next up, so that is making, and this is, uh, you really could just take this and drink it. It's going to be sweeter than freaking hell, but uh, you could just take this and drink it. Uh, corn syrup is pretty much just completely, well, it's not sugar, but uh, corn syrup is pretty much fructose, um, which is just straight sweet. Um, I forgot the exact process of how they make it, but it does include sulfuric acid. Uh, yet, you'll find corn syrup in everything from your white bread at the grocery store to soda to pretty much any product you can find at the grocery store is going to have corn syrup in it. And that just sucks. I hate corn syrup. It should not be in your food, especially when regular sugar is cheaper. But, uh, man, that turned out... Oh, there, now our green's starting to really get in there. So I'm going to cover that. Yep, I'm not going to waste. don't want to waste that. And the next version of blood, I got... Whoops. The next version of, uh, well, I guess some of the pros of this, uh, it is edible. Uh, splatter, enjoy. Uh, I'm skipping chocolate blood. I tried that one, just didn't turn out too well. But there is also jello blood, or gelatin blood. Uh, we got uh, some. Sugar, gelatin, sodium citrate, and uh, on the bright side, this one tastes pretty darn good. Uh, so I'm going to be using some Walmart Jello red gelatin. And the uh, the gelatin one, where it really shines, is uh, as it congeals. Uh, it really really looks like congealing chunky red blood. Uh, another option that you can do if you don't want to make blood, if you have a nice large Asian grocery store in your area, you can actually buy uh, rolls of congealed pig's blood, um, commonly used in pho, uh, the Vietnamese soup. And if you mash it up kind of good and add a little more food coloring to it, uh, you can make some pretty realistic looking uh, congealed blood. That's great for putting right around where an open wound would be, and then putting the straight corn syrup blood uh, to make it flow out of the wound and then you get your splattery blood everywhere else. Stay away, you don't have any... Where's your pants? Where, where's your pants? Come back here. 